This is the third soap for my channel subscribers. This one is dedicated my dear Diana Hendricks. She always leave me such a beautiful, warming and supporting comments. And I really appreciate it. Diana wanted to make a soap with purple colors and thin lines or strips similar to how I made wood grain soap but I don't like to make the same soap <laughs> again so instead of that I decided use the three gradient colors ombre and one pot wonder technique according to the amazing the soap artist check her amazing video everything is in the comments below the video she is amazing with explaining everything <laughs> so i hope diane likes this soap and you all like it too let's see how i made this i hope gorgeous soap this one is for Rui this one was made for lovely Christine and this one is for Diane all three of them was made with love as a thank you for your support so thank you everybody you are the best community and means a lot to me let's make gorgeous purple soap I am a little bit nervous about this soap because this soap Diane I want something similar like this soap wood grain but with purple shades of colors but since I already made one I want to make one pot wonder but with ombre three colors ombre which mean you have to make a lot of measuring and calculation i hope that i have everything correctly we'll see this will be fun i am using these micas and i hope that I have everything ready to go. This is perfect. I add kaolin clay, coconut milk. In here is silk, citric acid and a little bit of sea salt. First I split everything to three cups and then for a, another seven <laughs> colors. I hope that I have enough of pots. This will be fun. I use my lovely fragrance from Nature's Garden Black Raspberry Vanilla. I love this one. This one slow down the trays, which is crucial for this design. Slow moving everything. Well, see what's happened. I wish amazing purple thin line soap for my dear Diana. She always leave me such a beautiful comments and support. She is sweetheart. Just teeny tiny because I need a lot of time. I add my fragrance 
and then split everything. This is lovely fragrance, feminine, gentle, calming. It's my favorite all the time. Everything have to be precise, very precise to achieve this design. So I hope that my calculation is correct. Amazing video about this technique have the soap artist. She is absolutely amazing with explaining everything. When I saw this design on her channel, I um, fell in love and have to try it because it's great. Let's see if I calculate everything. Yes! This one is soft amethyst. I hope that Diana like pink too. I think this, these colors are perfect for my fragrance. Ay, 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 too much. And if I don't forget, I want to use my drizzle between layers. Just touch off all oh la. I just realized that my color choice is maybe wrong. But I am proud of myself that I think I didn't mess it up. Of course, I forgot which color to start in this order. I want pink on the top, so... Remember what, which color you add the first, this will be the last one. So many dishes. <laughs> so many dishes. Isn't this beautiful? This is very heavy.
I should use more contrasting colors. I already see that. Just continue with the same spot until you are finished. I have glitters, silver one, echo glitter, I think almost every woman love shiny thing, things, I hope, they are flying everywhere, what do you think? I love these colors, the top, I can wait for the cutting and cleaning the mess. <laughs> oh well, see you tomorrow. Wow. Look at those thin, thin lines. I hope you are satisfied with colors, Diane. <laughs> you wanted a purple and I think it's the ombre is amazing and I don't know if you can see the very thin lines I know you want little different design oh I didn't show you the top this time I made the top very simple a lot of bio glitters <laughs> I can wait what we have inside Wow, this is very gentle. I should, I should use contrasting colors, but the line are so teeny tiny. Can you see that? Micro lines. <laughs> this is very gentle, beautiful soap. Wow. It's beautiful. I just love it. I never made such a thin lines like this. Wow. I will bring you closer because I think every bar is the same. <laughs> It's just amazing. Wow. I love the ombre. It's absolutely perfect. Mm. It's a shame. This absolutely, they are just amazing, but the camera is wrong, the colors. They are just gorgeous. Can you see the silver? They are true whole bar.
Can you see the snow mica and these teeny tiny lines? In real light, this is amazing purple, just an amazing color. Can you see the thin line on side these soaps? I think it's gorgeous. I just love these bars. I hope that they made Diane happy. My camera didn't pick up the colors properly. They are the colors are more potent, just beautiful. Thank you for everything, Diane and I wish you all the best and see you next time. I forgot. Close up the top. It's very gentle and feminine. I want you able to see that my soap aren't just beautiful, but they also lather. This is my leftover from the shaving and beveling. <laughs> you know that I love creamy lotion lather. And this one is One of them, just beautiful, gentle, dense foam. I love this. I love all of my soaps so much. I hope, Diane, that <laughs> you like what I made just for you. You wanted tin line, you have one. <laughs> they are just teeny tiny micro. I very enjoyed making this soap and I hope you like them too. Thank you for your comments. Support means a lot for me. I wish you all the best, stay happy, stay healthy and see you next time. Bye!